Up until I was uh, 22, I had a hook, and it was very noticeable. The first week, I got my myoelectric arm. I remember walking into an ice cream parlor with a friend of mine, and not one person turned around to look at me. And it was an incredible feeling, and it, it was just such a different experience for me. It made me feel a little more normal. We've worked really hard as a team to make sure that our patients can try to lead as good a quality of life as possible. And so there's a lot of pride in being able to do that. One of the nice things here is with a hundred year uh, history, we've got devices here that have been from a hundred years ago. I've seen pictures in the 1940s with people with wooden legs with single hinged knees roller skating. So that's always been the goal, is getting people back to their normal lives. When we started from 1912 until about the 50s, our primary product was orthoses. The surgeon would call to the maintenance department and the janitor and whoever come and they would work together to try to make some kind of a bracing system for the, the different patients that uh, he had. Probably sometime in the late 20s, early 30s, they created what they named the appliance shop. And now we then had a more formal space. And then in the early 50s, it became orthotics and prosthetics. The thing that I remember distinctly about some of those first prostheses was the individuals who had a powered prosthesis used to have to wear what looked like bandoliers of bullets to give enough power to run their prosthesis. I was born with multiple limb deficiency. Most notable would have been um, my right arm below my elbow, my right leg above the knee. I've been coming to U of M for 45 years now. The first day I got my new arm, I painted the fingernails eight times, and I pushed up my sleeves like this. That was my favorite thing to do, and it still is one of my favorite things to do, because I had never been able to do that before. With all orthotics and prosthetics, it's really a matter of matching the, uh, the technology to that individual patient. It was in 74 I got my first one. It was a wooden leg, weighed 18 pounds. I didn't walk with it, I drug with it. I drug it everywhere I went. It was just there to support me, basically. I came up here, I was, I think, 22. I had to get a new leg made because the one I had, it was just falling apart. I couldn't believe the change in technology. I cried. It looked real, it felt real. And I thought, I need to become part of this. And they brought me in. I've been maize and blue since this was taken away from me. We have uh, our own on-site lab to be able to mill and fabricate their devices. We have the ability to reach out to our engineering partners, uh, kinesiology department, all the different medical departments in the university to gain further knowledge and, and to further refine what we are doing for our patients. I like to be innovative. I like to figure out how to make something that's not designed to work one way work one way. Some of our orthodists have come up with some very unique designs. The Bray Brace, the Michigan Silicone Gel Liner, and the Latex or the Rubber Sleeve Suspension really drew people from all over the world here. You don't want your patient who comes in in a wheelchair, you don't want them to go back out in a wheelchair. You want them to come in in a wheelchair, walk out of here. I was diagnosed as a diabetic at age 35. I've been coming here for 22 years. When they brought the first pair of boots out to me, my husband looked at me as if to say, oh dear. But I thought to myself, no, I'm not going to feel that way. I'm going to be able to get up on my feet again and actually take steps and do for myself. Thanks to U of M, I still have my feet and I can still walk. They listen to you, and that, that's huge. That, that's a huge thing to feel like you're being heard by the people that are taking care of you and have you really your independence and your freedom in their hands.
this is a special place. I work with special people here. We have special patients that come through and only as a team, we get it done. Here we are, a hundred years later, we're still providing patients with awesome experiences and we will into the future. I see us here easily a hundred years from now.